I am Dr. Sunita Rao from Biani Group of Colleges on behalf of Guru KPU going to discuss with you a very recent topic that is agrobacterium mediated gene transfer. Friends, first of all we must be familiar about all these terms which has been written over in this topic. First of all the basic thing is gene. We must know what is a gene is. So the answer is a gene is a set of the nucleotide which will function in our body itself in a microbes body as well as in a plant with whether everything is living is just because of the genes. So, genes are the fundamental unit of a living organism which will function to form protein in a body and that will protein will run our body for various mechanisms of catabolism, metabolism and various other things. So, what is the need of this agrobacterium? why do we need to transfer a gene what is its importance is so we all know that biotechnology is a field which works for human welfare so insulin is the best example which we can give the uh, bacterial cell e coli is we are using for the synthesis of the artificial insulin which is uh, transferred to a human being for the treatment of the disease diabetes so it is just a unicellular organism and it is a prokaryote we can transfer a gene just using any of the vectors like puck vector pbr322 and many more uh, there is a lots and lots of series of vector are available to transfer a gene of interest to a prokaryotic cell but when we talk about a plant system and to transfer a gene of interest so that we can get a valuable product from a plant for example we need to enhance the protein content of a seed so we need a gene of interest it will be integrated to any of the plant and it will form a protein which is miraculous just uh, examples are bt cotton bt brinjal uh, that is a uh, golden rice golden rice is a good source of iron as well as a carbohydrate so we are just uh, working on the improvement of the quality of the seed oil flower color and various other parameters to enhance the characteristics in a particular plant just taking a gene of interest from any of the other plant so that this quality can be inculcate or it incorporate in a uh, our plant so agrobacterium is a gram uh, uh, positive bacteria rod shape is bacteria and it is generally present in the soil so when this agrobacterium is present near about to this dicotyledonous plant whenever their wound will be created our uh, near the soil site of the plant like while doing some agricultural activity or by passing of an animal by passing of a human being uh, the outer uh, cell of the plant could be get damaged easily so this bacteria can enter the plant and it can form a tumor like outgrowth in the plant which is known as crown gall. This crown gall has a capacity to feed the bacteria and this crown gall has been created just because the bacterium has introduced its DNA and incorporated this DNA to the plant cell DNA and the plant is acting as a machinery and it is synthesizing lots of product for the bacterial cell that are, are opines and nopelines. So bacteria will eat the opines and nopelines and plant is acting as a machinery and we have nothing did anything artificially it is just a natural process. So we have took this organism agrobacterium which is also known as nature's smallest genetic engineer because it is just a bacterial cell and we don't need any of the machineries and this bacterial cell is working for ourselves to improving the various quality in a plant so the basic characteristics of this bacterial dna is this tdna just because of this tdna which has been incorporated to the plant's dna we are uh, th this plant is acting as a recombinant plant and it is acting as a machinery so this is a structure of the TA DNA where is it, this is the origin of replication which gives it to capacity to multiply itself whenever it is transformed to the any of the other organisms. This is the opine catabolism region. This is the conjugative transfer region of the T DNA. This region is responsible for the opine synthesis. This region of the DNA is responsible for the 
टी रीजन विच इज हैविंग ऑल द मशीनरीज विच इज हैज बिन ट्रांसफर टू द प्लान सिस्टम दिस इज द वेरुलेंस रीजन जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस रीजन दिस क्राउन गॉल हैज बिन अपियर टू द प्लान सो इन आर टेक्नोलॉजी वट वी डू वी जस्ट रिमूव दिस रीजन सो वी विल नीड नॉट टू प्रोड्यूस एनी ऑफ द गॉल्स ऑन अ प्लान बॉडी we just remove this region and the uh, now this t dna can act as without any disease symptom and the gene of interest could be inserted in the uh, vectors which are derived from this type of the dna so this is uh, how this agrobacterium is transferred to the plant system we will discuss it in the in this uh, coming diagram now we are going to discuss the exact mechanism what is going to be happen with a bacterial cell what is going to be happen with a plant cell whenever there is a uh, vicinity of the bacteria in the vicinity of a dicotyledonous plant cell so when uh, any of the wound has been occurred it is very common so plant will release a chemical that is acetosiringon and this acetosiringon has been sensed by the bacterial cell wall protein that is a vir a protein present at the cell wall of the bacterial cell a complex will be formed as we can see in step 2 a complex will be formed between the acetosiringon molecule and the vir a protein of the bacterial cell this complex will activate another vir region that is vir g part and in third step this will uh, will acting the vir g gene of the bacterial genome and it will activate the whole t dna part of the genome and it will be it is having a b g c d e gene located at the t dna region where it will up and down regulated as per the availability of the substrate for the whole reaction mechanism so due to the chemotaxis the bacterial cell has sensed the acetosiringon and as per the all chemical reaction which has been uh, done in the bacterial cell there will be a mechanism why by which uh, the dna of the t dna part the left and the right border sequence a nick has been inserted in the between in the lower strand and it will form uh, another dna strand which is just exactly complementary to the mother dna and this dna part will move from as both have been having association of the cell walls that is the bacterial cell wall and this is the plant cell wall there is a pathway have been created due to the activation of the various proteins and these protein will bound to the both the cells and it will create a passage where this dna will move from this passage and get integrated to the plant dna this is the plant dna part which is uh, located inside the nucleus of the plant cell so the mechanism is as very simple and we have just understood and we have just grabbed the uh, knowledge that we are having various proteins which are going to be up regulated and down regulated and just because of that mechanism a uh, bacterial dna has been able to move inside the plant dna and this mechanism we are going to use as a genetic engineer in our laboratory we have created two type of the vector that is a binary vector and another is a co integrated vector just using the bacterial dna that is of agrobacterium and this vector will help us to design a new plant which is having a special quality of the seed protein it have a good quality of seeds and it plant would be having going to have a shorter height it will require less water we can design various plants like uh, insect resistant plant we can design virus resistant plant we can uh, uh, design few of the plants we are having a good uh, quality of the fruits we can design a various cereal crops which is having a multiple complex of various minerals and vitamins exactly a very interesting fact is we have developed many fruits also like in earlier days uh, we are having round and uh, various fruits like these are very round in shape but there was a, a problem in their transportation so have we have created the fruits which are having a square surface and we so that we can easily like a cube or cuboid so that we can be easily transport uh, them to the various countries so in next part we are going to discuss about the exact mechanism of the agrobacterium 
introducing itself in laboratory in vitro condition so that a new plant could be developed with a better quality and with a better desired characteristic. Here we are going to discuss how a normal plant could be transformed to a miraculous desired characteristic. So, the plant which is a parent plant and we want to modify it, we just take the leaf of that plant and by using a suitable tool, we will cut down the circular leaf disc out of the this leaf which has been sterilized with ethanol and other chemicals so that the contamination could not come to our laboratory. So, the, these leaf discs could be incubated in a suspension media where agar is lacking and we also uh, suspend the agrobacterium here also for overnight incubation. We uh, assume that due to the overnight uh, incubation of the leaf disc with the agrobacterium, the cell could be transformed because these are wounded cell and acido agrobacterium could easily enter the egg, uh, these leaf disc. So again, these uh, leaf disc will be taken out from the suspension medium and could be transferred to a medium which is having a feeder layer. It will act as a nutrient supply cell and it will help to these leaf disc to uh, modify itself and we will use the property of a tissue that is totopotency. Uh, every cell has a capacity that it can regenerate itself to as a shoot or a root depending on the supply of the hormones. For example, if we are going to supply the hormones in the again another uh, petri plate, th those hormones those are supplying uh, supporting the shoot regeneration, we will get that the shoot will be uh, transform and same plant could be taken out from this petri plate and could be transferred to a boiling tube in the agar medium with the medium which is supporting the root generation in the current transformed plant and these plant could be transferred in the greenhouse of the laboratory and later on due to the government regulations and rules we will not going to release it in the society it will take more time and it will be validated for at least 5 to 10 years so that because both are the benefits and drawbacks of the genetically modified crop have been uh, known for everybody so whatever will be the aspect but we can design a plant with our own desired uh, wants and our desired requirements thank you for watching this video please like comment share and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and visit our website gurukpo.com thank you so much